This video will show you how to install the Boost Auto Parts modified door harness to get towing mirrors functional on your 2019 or newer Silverado or Sierra 1500 truck. At the time of filming this video, this procedure applies to 2019 to 2021 Silverado or Sierra 1500 trucks, but for exact fitment, please reference our website at BoostAutoParts.com as future years will likely be covered. This video is explicitly for those who originally had forward-facing spotlights on their mirrors. If you did not originally have forward-facing spotlights, please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts installation video. Please note, it's not possible to add the forward-facing spotlights as a bonus feature. Please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video for door panel removal and mirror installation. This video will strictly show the modified door harness installed to get the lighting features working. If you have a 2019, you will also need to install the Boost Auto Parts RZY harness in addition to the modified door harness. That procedure is detailed in a separate Boost Auto Parts video. To get these parts and more, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Begin by popping the hood. Using a 10 millimeter, disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. The door panel removal and installation as well as the mirror installation is detailed in a separate Boost Auto Parts video that will be linked in the description below. Remove the one 7mm nut holding on the speaker at the top. Pull out on the top of the speaker, then pull up. Pull up on the red latch on the connector on the speaker. Then depress the tab and release the connector. Using a trim tool, release the clip holding the harness onto the speaker. Push the mirror connector down into the door. Locate the door jam connector going into the body. You're going to take a flat blade screwdriver. You need to make sure you're all the way centered on the top of it. And the screwdriver needs to go all the way up against the body. The clip barely comes out. You're going to take the screwdriver and just press down and pry away at the same time. And the connector will slide back. Using a small screwdriver or pick, pry the red latch out away from the vehicle. Using a pick, get under the front of the white latch and pull up on it while pushing the white latch slightly away from the vehicle and it will unlock. Apply the white lock and that will release the connector from the body of the truck and you can pull it out. Push the harness into the door by pushing the grommet into the door first. You can just guide the connector down into the door itself. Pull the connector out through the speaker hole. There are two clips here on the door that retain the mirror harness. Push these tabs and push these clips into the door. Release this additional clip right down here. Pull the mirror harness down through the speaker hole. Release this trim clip on the door. Push the grommet into the door and then guide the harness into the door. When removing the harness, there will be this trim clip right here in this hole. When we remove the harness, it automatically came out, but if you're fighting with it, you'll just need to pry out on that little trim clip right there. We are time-lapsing the modified door harness being installed with the harness still in the vehicle to show you that it can be done. However, to ensure optimal video filming, we have fully removed the harness for the video. You do not need to do that. If you would like to screenshot and print a schematic, here is one on your screen. Note the driver and passenger side are the same, with the exception of the blue wire pinning into the door jam connector as detailed in the schematic. Locate the wire in slot 5 of the mirror mating connector. Slot 5 is located in the top row 5 over from the left. Begin by cutting some of the harness tape back. Cut the wire in slot 5. Strip the wire coming out of the black mirror mating connector. The wire that was originally in slot 5 being held right here will now no longer be used with the towing mirrors, so this can just be tucked out and taped out of the way with some electrical tape later. Locate the wire originally in slot 13. Slot 13 is located in the bottom left hand corner. In this case, it's the solid blue wire. Take a cutting tool and cut the wire coming from slot 13 a couple inches back. Strip both ends of it. 
Take the supplied buck connectors by Boost Auto Parts and crimp them onto the two wires coming out of the mirror mating connector. Take the wire that was originally going to slot 13 and crimp it into slot 5. Take the harness provided by Boost Auto Parts and locate one end of it. It does not matter which end you select. Grab the blue wire and cut the terminal off the end of it. Strip the blue wire that you just cut the terminal off of. Take the blue wire from the Boost Auto Parts harness, crimp it into the buck connector from the wire that was originally in slot 13. In this case, it was originally a solid blue wire. So we're going to place the blue wire from the Boost Auto Parts harness in there, and we're going to crimp it down. These are heat shrink buck connectors, so apply some heat to shrink them down. Using a pick or small flat blade screwdriver, depress on this white lock on both sides of the connector, which will allow the terminals to be inserted. When inserting these terminals, the crimp needs to face down towards the bottom of the connector. The red wire with blue tracer needs to be inserted into slot 8. We have removed the other wires in the connector here to make it easy to see which slot the wire goes into. Face the crimp down and insert the wire into slot 8. Slot 8 is located in the second row, one over from the left. Slide the terminal all the way forward until it latches into place. If necessary, use a pick or very small screwdriver to help slide the terminal forward. Next, we will be inserting the white wire into slot 16. Slot 16 is located in the bottom row, three over from the right. With the terminal facing down, insert the wire into slot 16. Make sure it slides all the way forward. Depress the white lock so it seats fully down into the connector. If the white lock does not fully seat, likely one of your terminals is not slid all the way forward. Drape the Boost Auto Parts harness along the existing door harness using some electrical tape to secure it into position. When running it along the harness, be sure to tape it onto the top side here as these clips clip into the door. You want to be guiding the wires towards this connector. Using a firm piece of metal, in this case we're using a coat hanger, guide the piece of metal directly through the boot all the way to the other side. Tape the three wires from the Boost Auto Parts modified door harness to the straightened out piece of metal. Carefully pull the metal through towards the door jam connector, bringing the wires with it. Untape the wires from the straightened out piece of metal. Locate the white lock on the top of the connector and use a flathead screwdriver or pick to pry up on it slightly. In order to easily insert the wires, slide the white latch down. When inserting these wires, the crimps need to face towards the right side of the connector, just like so. Insert the white wire into slot 4. Slot 4 is located in the far left row, one down from the top. Make sure the terminal slides all the way forward. Use a pick or small flathead screwdriver to guide it if necessary. Insert the red wire with blue tracer into slot 22. Slot 22 is located in the far left row, 8 down from the top. If necessary, use a pick or small flat blade screwdriver to scoot the terminal forward. It's important to note that the blue wire will get inserted into different locations depending on if it's the driver or passenger side. This is only for the driver's side. Insert the blue wire into slot 42. Slot 42 is located in the far right row, one up from the bottom. For the passenger side, the pinning is all the same except for the blue wire gets inserted into slot 39, which is in the far right row, three up from the bottom. Once all of the wires have been inserted, Firmly press down on the white lock, latching all the terminals into place. If the white lock will not depress, likely one of your terminals is not slid all the way forward. After taping the modified door harness into place, start by reinstalling the door harness into the truck.
Bring the door jam connector back into the door jam area. When routing the door jam connector, make sure the mirror harness wire is not in front of the wire going to the door jam. It needs to be on the outer edge towards the front of the door. Line up the door jam connector with the door jam mating connector. You want to make sure the white lock is slid back like it is right here. Push the connector forward into the body. Once it's slid in, slide the white lock forward and latch it into place. Once done, slide the red latch all the way forward. Putting the boot back over the door jam connector, there's a latch down at the bottom. That needs to get latched down before sliding it forward. Once you have it latched at the bottom, slide it forward and it will lock into the door. Grab the handle and pull the door jam grommet back into position. Engage the plastic clips holding the door harness into position. Bring the mirror connector up, again making sure it's in front of the wire going to the door jam connector. Plug in the mirror mating connector. Make sure to place these two trim clips for the wiring harness back into place. The installation procedure is the same on the driver and passenger side with the exception of the one difference in the wiring for the door jam connector on the blue wire. If you do not have bed illumination lights as shown here, you will likely be missing a wire in your body control module so you can disregard this next portion of the video showing the jumping of the two wires at the body control module. Instead, you would have likely received an additional harness part number 5846 CH, which has a supplemental install for vehicles without bed illumination lights. The link to that installation video should be on the packaging for that harness. To activate the cargo lights, you'll need to unplug the body control module connectors that are gray and black. The body control module is located on the driver's side, straight up over to here. So you can see there's all these colored connectors up here. Unplug the gray and black connectors. There's a latch at the front of the connector. You'll depress that. Pull straight down and the connector will come unplugged. Carefully cut back some tape to reveal more of the wires at the body control module connectors. After cutting back the tape to get access to the wires, you're going to need to tap onto the wire in pin 9 of the black connector. Pin 9 is located three rows down from the top of the connector, one over from the left. Take the T-tap provided by Boost Auto Parts and place it onto the wire in slot 9. In this case, it's a white wire with violet tracer, however wire color may vary, so go off pin location as primary reference. Place the wires into the jaw of the T-tap and fold it over until it clicks. On the gray connector, you're going to be working with pin 4. Pin 4, if looking at it from the rear, is one row down on the far left hand side. In this case, it's a gray wire with a blue stripe, however wire color can vary, so go off pin location as primary reference. Take the wire, place it in the jaws of the T-tap, and fold it over until you feel it click. If necessary, you can use some needle nose pliers. Take the wire provided by Boost Auto Parts with two spade connectors on the end of it, and plug it into the two T-taps. The orientation does not matter. In this video, the wire shown is black, however, your kit will likely be white. Make sure the metal from the spade connector goes directly into the T-tap and that the spade connector slides all the way forward. Plug back in the two BCM connectors. You should hear and feel it latch. Begin reinstalling the door speaker. Place the trim clip back into place. Reinstall the connector by pushing it down till it latches, then sliding the red lock forward. Latch the lock at the bottom of the speaker. Slide the speaker into the door. Place the seven millimeter bolt that holds the speaker into place. This bolt's a little bit longer than the others. Proceed with the reinstallation of the door panel as detailed in a separate Boost Auto Parts video. Reinstall the battery terminal. And just like that, your installation is complete. To get these products and more, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com.